Jenny's basketball is looking to take one more win into the semester break. UCM beat Central Oklahoma on Thursday to move to one and one in the MIAA. And now it's time to face Northeastern State here at the Maltai. The Riverhawks are coming off a loss to Missouri Western, so they are two and one in the MIAA. This could be a key win heading into that break. Northeastern's two MIAA wins are over Lincoln and Lindenwood. Jenny's had only played Fort Hayes State before UCO, so Northeastern and Central Missouri have not faced the same conference opponent yet. We'll pick up the action at the 11 minute mark of the first half. Teams have traded the lead a few times. Shelby Winkleman drives, scores for the Jennies. UCM leads 13-10. Eight minute mark now, Brielle Watley gets her own rebound after driving, scores on the putback and draws a foul. Watley makes the free throw too. It's 20 to 15 gins. Next trip down the court, Justina Prairie Chief adds three to the board. Eight point lead for UCM. Five minutes left in the half. Another three ball for Prairie Chief from pretty much the exact same spot. 26, 17 Jennies. At halftime, Central Missouri is shooting 50% to Northeastern's 35. Jennies lead 30 to 22. Second half now, Taylor Wicks hits some key shots from three-point range. This one about halfway through the half. You see him still on top, 45-36. Prairie Chief goes right down the middle of the lane with this one. Banks in the score. Jennies have a 12-point lead with eight minutes left in the game. Wicks faces up the defender here, then pulls up from beyond the arc. 51-39 Jens with seven minutes to go. Riverhawks go on a run over the next five minutes, though. Fontana Tate hits a three that makes it a one possession game with 322 on the clock. UCM's lead is 51 49. Brianna Embray has an answer from the corner. Back out to a five point lead for the Gens, 54 49. Northeastern hits two at the foul line, then Chelsea Bethard's jumper with 38 seconds on the clock makes it a one point game, 54 53. Riverhawks foul Winkleman trying to get the ball back. She hits two shots. Last second three for Northeastern is no good. Central Missouri stops the Riverhawks comeback. Jennies get the win 56-53. The shooting percentages flip-flopped in the second half, though Northeastern went about 54 from the floor, but UCM only shot about 36%. Northeast Oak is a hard team to play against. Uh, they're a team that uh, is going to take every second of the shot clock they can. They're going to throw up some threes, and some of them are going to find their mark. And all of a sudden, last couple minutes of the game, they got hot, and I'm just glad that we had enough of a lead and that uh, Breezy made her three to, to kind of give us a chance to get a little bit of a cushion. Um, it was interesting because at the end of the game, it was a three-point game, 20 seconds, and we elected not to foul, and you know what, I, I like our odds because they only got off one shot, it was a contested shot, uh, and right now the data is out about 50-50, whether you foul or whether you just go ahead and let it, uh, let them shoot it out, and I kind of like the way that we defended them, and uh, Brielle Watley came in and kind of boosted our defense. Shelby Winkleman led all scorers with 15 points. It was a career-high 11 points for Taylor Wicks, who shot four of seven from the floor, including three of five from three-point range. Jasmine Thompson added 10 points. Senior Brianna Embre was once again a fairly silent contributor. She only had the one three, but this is the second game in a row that Embre has shown that not all team leaders are loud and vocal, and making the right shot when it's really needed is just as important as being the leading scorer. She just keeps everybody together. She kind of mothers the team and makes sure that they all are playing hard, they know what they're doing, and are confident in what they're doing. For her to make four free throws against Central Oak at the end of the game and to make a huge three was uh, big. They were sagging way off, and they have been sagging off her points, and uh, our points are going to have to knock some shots down. Jennies now have a short break before heading into the second half of the season. It's a six-day break mandated by the NCAA for Division II. The ladies will be at home for the holidays, but basketball won't be far from their minds, according to head coach Dave Slifer. They'll take a break, but they'll also find a gym. They'll get into it. They'll lift some weights. They'll get some shots up. They'll get some running in and, and make, uh, you know, they, they all want to win. And it's a, it's a fun group to be around. They're just a little bit, uh, a few too many close games right now. But uh, we'll, we'll hopefully, I hope we have three close games uh, coming up uh, at the 2015. That'd be a good way to start it. The Central Missouri women are now 8-3 on the season, 2-1 in MIAA games. 
Next up is a trip to Nebraska Kearney on January 3rd, 2015, followed by three straight games against top 10 ranked teams in Washburn, Pitt State, and Emporia. Reporting in Warrensburg, I'm Katie Smith for UCMAthletics.com.